the largest intelligence apparatus in the world with the biggest budget in the history of the world has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years and can't find him. Some doofus jerk-off reporter with a camera crew waltzes right into his hideout and interviews him. So why, why do all these fools believe this charade? that a CNN reporter and his little camera crew can do what all the money and all the assets and all the eavesdropping and all the intelligence and all the satellites and all the undercover operatives in the world can never do. It's because they're not trying. They don't want to. Osama bin Laden is their creation and he is serving them well. I mean, is this some kind of incredible joke that people are so stupid they'll fall for this? And now we're being bombarded with messages that Osama bin Laden is planning to attack the United States of America and Israel. Let me tell you something. If he's an enemy of Israel and the Mossad can't find him, then this thing is the biggest joke that you ever heard of in your life. And I'm telling you, be prepared for a major attack. But it won't be Osama bin Laden. It will be those behind the New World Order who once again want to take the guns and the freedom away from the American people because we're the only ones left in the world who can oppose the destruction of freedom in the world and then the implementation of a one world totalitarian socialist government and that is the goal. And whatever is going to happen that they're going to blame on Osama bin Laden, don't you even believe it. Another social illusion, social engineering project to change the minds and the attitudes and the beliefs of the people of the world, and especially the United States, to bring about one world socialist totalitarian government. I wonder what Osama bin Laden's targets are supposed to be. And if they don't you know, if this doesn't materialize in the next two or three weeks, it will eventually materialize because they haven't succeeded in getting the guns out of the hands of the American people, nor have they succeeded in taking our freedoms away. In fact, there's been a great awakening in this country and a, and a big backlash against these Marxist, communist, puke-faced, lying, subversive, Nazi, jackbooted, Gestapo thugs that is gaining momentum. And so I can tell you with a certainty, they must do something terrible in order to stop this backlash and regain the sympathy of the mass herds of sheeple out there. <laughs> and supposedly we're not the only nation searching for Osama bin Laden. So the vast economic resources, the vast technological resources, the vast personnel resources, the vast networks and intricate web spun over all these years by the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA can't find Osama bin Laden, but CNN can? Bullshit. What a crying shame. How in the world? Could this country of all nations breed such a dumbed down, unthinking, illiterate, uneducated, stupid, ignorant population? Hello? Anybody home? Or have you all just had a, a, just a total migration of your brain power? You know what I'm talking about out there. And you know me, folks. I only care about the truth, period. The truth. And it's about time some of you got acquainted with the real hard truth. Well, you see, the government knows they can't pull another Waco. They've got to try and get us to do something to justify what they want to do. Something stupid so that they could actually declare martial law and start rounding people up. should always be prepared for any emergency. 
Oh, I was telling people to get prepared and stock up on two years of uh, of uh, food storage and water and, and guns and ammunition and everything uh, eight years ago. Remember, we must have the moral high ground. So we have to wait for them to do something that justifies acting. Whoever fires the first shot loses. I've said that for I've said that since 1989. I've been telling people that, and it's the truth. And if they fire the first shot, and the militia uh, moves against them legitimately and lawfully to restore constitutional republican government, and they bring the military against us, the entire American population will support us. But if we fall into these traps, forget it, it's all over. Revolution, you never know what the outcome of a revolution will be. But a restoration has something different. We all know what the outcome is going to be. We know what the goal is, to restore constitutional republican government, to do away with the excesses in government, to arrest those who have subverted this country and destroyed it, and hold them until they can be tried by a jury of their peers, as the Constitution dictates, and uh, find out if they're innocent or guilty. And if they're guilty, hang them. They're trying to instigate the American people to rise up against the government to justify changing the entire uh, character of, of this nation and bring about one world totalitarian socialist government. That's what they're doing.